Shoppers, if they have mobility challenges, they help identify foods that can be paired with other foods. They help bag up groceries as people are leaving. They help pack boxes. Food banks really can't operate without volunteers. They're vital for their success. Starting today, a crucial push to get 3,000 new food bank volunteers across Washington State by the end of this year. It's called Back to Action. King 5 is a proud partner in the effort alongside the Seahawks and Northwest Harvest. King 5's Farah Jadrin reports from Seattle's University District. We're here at the University District Food Bank where we're learning more about Back to Action. I want to bring in Lou Hark, a volunteer here, and also Joe Gruber, the executive director. Uh, Lou, let's start with you. You started volunteering during the pandemic, uh, kind of an unusual time to get things started, but what made you do that and continue coming here? Sure. So actually a coworker of mine at the time had shared on social media that volunteerism was down due to the stay at home order. And since I was in a capacity to be able to help, sprung into action, came to the food bank to volunteer a couple days a week, and then actually was working alongside Joe and the team for a couple months until I had to go back to work when things reopened. And when I wasn't able to be working here almost full time at that point, um, I just started volunteering every Saturday morning and have been coming ever since. Well, it definitely makes a difference in the community. Joe, there's been a drop off of volunteers across the board uh, for food access organizations all across the state. What has that drop off been like and how has it impacted the communities that need those resources the most? For sure. So we've experienced about a 50% reduction in our volunteerism. Um, on some shifts, we're actually seeing even more than that, you know, 75% drop off. And for us, that means we have to kind of curtail services, right? It's harder for uh, us to have enough um, volunteers in place to allow us to let folks shop when they want to. Um, our home delivery program has a longer waiting list because we don't have the volunteers that we need in order to make those deliveries happen. And so for us, we know that community access to food is super critical and volunteerism is how it happens. And for us, when we are short volunteers, it really just impacts the quality of service we're able to offer our community. Lou, what would you tell others in terms of becoming a volunteer like you? Um, for me, it really helped me build my community here in Seattle and kind of my sense of belonging. Uh, I moved to Seattle at the end of 2018 and I was warned about the Seattle freeze, didn't think it'd be real, kind of was. Um, and coming to the food bank and, and being with like-minded people who want to help our community and come in and listen to music and, and do something with purpose has just felt really good and I've made a bunch of friends here and I just love it. That's wonderful to hear. Uh, Seattle Seahawks backing this back to action plan. What does that mean to the food bank? Oh, it's hugely important. I mean, we're not alone in experiencing the drop off in volunteerism. So having an organization like the Seahawks, somebody who is so well known and respected to throw their enthusiasm, their energy, both today, but also more long term, like raising the issue um, is, is going to be hugely different difference making for us. If you are starting to feel the passion to get back to action and volunteer, we have that information for you. All you have to do is text the word ACTION to 206-448-4545 and we'll help you sign up to volunteer. In Seattle's University District, Farah Jadrin, King 5 News. Oh, thank you. That is former Seahawk receiver Brian Walters volunteering at the U District Food Bank today. He and other Super Bowl 48 players help stock shelves and prepare the food bank for the coming week. You got Golden Tate, your main curse out here right now. So it's so fun to be back uh, with your teammates that you know I've played with for years and been friends with for years, and and for uh, you know 10 years everyone's back and they're still giving them giving uh, um, giving time back to the community. Walters grew up here. Says Seattle means a lot to him.